Hey guys, Berto Boyd here. Today I'm going to talk to you about guitar nails. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Let's not stand on ceremony here. So a lot of people ask me, hey Berto, how do you get that great tone? Well, uh, first of all, I've been blessed with really amazing nails. Um, everyone has different hands. You know, I have very thick fingers and wide pads which really helps. So what happens is I have a lot of surface. So that's the main thing that is try to get a flat nail. So when you're leaving from your string, when you put your fingernail down on the file, you should have about 90% of your nail touching the file. So that way when you go to play, you're leaving from a large surface area. A lot of people ask me, long nails, short nails, which one is better? Well, really it's preference. If you are a classical player, you're playing a lot of free strokes, you're probably gonna want a longer nail. If you're playing flamenco and you're playing rest strokes, you're probably gonna want a shorter type of nail. Longer nails are more of a hassle. Uh, you get a lot more breakage and you know, you gotta walk around with special gloves. And I see some of you guys out there walking around with your Michael Jackson gloves. <laughs> No, I'm, I have friends that have gloves made I of mithril. I something that beats the eye. Mithril and stuff. So, hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, man. I like to go with the shorter nail. So I will show you here that uh, my middle nail is going to be exactly equal with the skin. And then my index is going to be slightly slanted. My ring finger is also going to be slightly slanted. So thumbnail, well, I don't know, man, this thing is its, is its own, it's its own animal. Okay. So the next thing is the, really the big takeaway I think you're going to get from the video today is the bevel. So the bevel is something that I discovered probably about 12, 13 years ago and it really transformed my sound. So I used to file my nails underneath and kind of like up to this, and then I would have a sharp point over here. So I was, that was a big mistake. So I took a master class with Christopher Parkening and one of his students, a um, good friend of mine named Tavi Gennario, showed me this little trick. And I remember uh, when I did it and I went to, uh, I, I did what he said and I went to play a note and it was like, oh, <laughs> the clouds opened up. It was really amazing. It really transformed my sound. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you're filing your nails underneath, you're creating a, a very thin breaking point. So when you leave the string, you're leaving from a sharp point that's no bueno. That's going to give you a very thin tone. So what I'm talking about is the bevel. So from sanding from the top and making this, this curved point. So that way, when you leave the string, you're leaving from a nice rounded surface. And that's what gives you the fat tone. So to get the bevel, essentially, you want to file the top of your nail to where you're getting a, a nice slope over, right? Don't go that way. You're not making a half pipe. This isn't skateboarding. <laughs> this is guitar playing, all right? So yeah, you're just gonna, you're gonna want to really make that slope. So, you know, so just get in there and experiment. Nails grow back, that's the good thing. Okay, so let's talk about repair. What do you do when you break a nail? First things first, you don't go to a nail salon and get acrylic nails. Psh don't do that. Really, the only reason why you should have a acrylic nail is if you had a piece of it go missing or completely break off and you have a gig. Other than that, suck it up, file it down and let it grow out. That's the best thing you can do. So if you do have, say, a small crack or something that, you know, you can still play with it, but you need to reinforce it, so I'm gonna go over my technique for repairing a nail. Say you if you have a crack, the nail is still works. It hasn't gone missing or anything, but you gotta, you gotta fix it. So what I will do is I will take super glue and a safety pin. Yeah, you're like wondering why would he use a safety pin? Well, 
here's the thing. If you use a brush on, you're gonna get big clumps of it all over the place, okay? So this is the trick to getting a really nice, even coat of super glue. So I like the dropper because, you know, the brushes are okay, but they, it's hard to get a uniform surface with a brush. So I typically will take a single drop and put it on there. You can see that. And now I'll put it on this way and then I'll just glide it over. Okay, so now I have a nice uniform thing. So if you need actually more, um, if the break was really bad, then you might wanna get some acrylic powder. And uh, this is, I'll put a link in the description for this. And essentially this, this guy has uh, little holes on it and you can just kind of go like that. And you just, I'm not gonna put any on my nail right now because my nail is actually in great condition, but I will put a little bit of glue on it uh, from time to time just to kind of give it a nice coating. It usually comes off with, you know, an hour of playing or something. So, okay, lastly, nail files. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this nail file. This is my favorite out of all the ones that I've ever tried. And uh, luckily with the internet now, you can get everything on Amazon. Uh, so link in the description to this one. This one holds up really well. I've actually had, I've been using these nail files for probably about 15 years. And each one of them, will last me probably about two years. And so the secret to that is putting it in a plastic bag when you're done. Because uh, if you just leave it out, somehow the air breaks it down and it... Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you. Please leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'm sure I didn't cover all of the topics in this video, but I just wanted to share a few of the hacks and the things that have worked for me over the years. I hope you guys are having a great day and see you next time.